Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't help either in terms of the team point of view is that, you know, the meta changes pretty rapidly on its own and also by balance cha changes. So if you uh, miss scrims for a week, you might not be quite in tune with what people are doing meta-wise, and that can definitely hurt. Right. That being said, taking a look at the defense oh, for Flat Earth as it rolls out, uh, speed boosting Dracaeus in the position. Dracaeus will be on the Symmetra. Link's going to take up the mantle of Junkrat. Artier on the Kree, Romas on the Zinyana. Reinforce almost certainly about to switch to a Reinhardt. Vonathil going to be the one true Lucio on Lucio. The one true Lucio. The one who I mean, you start out four Lucios and then only one remains. What else can you call it? <laughs> I suppose. He's the King DJ. Ultimate Offensively, target. though, I imagine we'll see Winghaven stay on Reinhardt. Valortaja will be on McCree. Too Easy is going to flex out to Zarya. Cruz will be on Lucio. Unfixed on Farah. And he'll be trailed around through the skies by his good buddy Morte on Mercy. And we didn't see this uh, first time around on Hollywood as much, but uh, Farah definitely very, very good for Hollywood attacking. Uh, teams really like running Farah in early Hollywood attack, early King's Road attack. Uh, just in general, aim map where uh, people are kind of clustered around a point, Farah can be really good early on. You do have to watch out for McCree's, Widows, and all the rest, so our tier might be uh, trying to go immediately in on Unfixed. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, it gives you vision of what's going on, because you can kind of peek over the top. Now, of course, that is dangerous if they're running a Widow or something along those lines, but with a Mercy, you should be able to like, absorb one shot and get out of there alive. So, we're going to see uh, Reunited try and get in off the speed boosts out. They're going in over the top. Romas able to take out Wingman, but look at this position from Unfix. Unfix is getting all sorts of value rockets in the back. Able to take out Reinforce. Will you be able to get more? No! Links with the aerial Razzle Dazzle. Able to get up and over and take out Unfix. Now, I think Unfix was just rezzed up. Uh, potentially, I'm not really sure, but he is down and respawning again. And take a look at Lynx here. Lynx with some beautiful Junkrat shots. Uh, trying to hold this for Flat Earth if he can. And wow, triple kill for Lynx. He is keeping it going. My That's, goodness. I mean, starting off with a Farrah kill is winning a fight that generally you should not be favored in. But goes to, takes it to her home ground, into the skies, hits a nice nade, then follows it up with two more, including a mine shot. Really beautiful play on defensive Junkrat here. Yeah, I mean, if there was an MVP for the defense for Flat Earth there, it absolutely was Lynx. Lynx just was on fire. So I'm taking a look here. As the offensive Reunite regroups and goes forward, we do have ultimates on deck for them. They have Barrage, they have Rez, they have Deadeye. They have basically everything they would want here, minus Grats on Surge. Barrage is going to come out. It's going to get cancelled out a little bit by the Sound Barrier. And uh, Voltage with the double kill on the offense, however, going to start turning it in Reunite's favor. Grats on Surge comes out. I'm not even sure it grabbed anyone. No. But a triple kill for Voltage. Too Easy takes out Chaos and Reunited finding the groove here on point A. It felt like Too Easy just uses all because everyone else did and he felt left out. <laughs> There's no purpose to it. Let me see defensive transcends coming out, trying to buy a little bit of time. I'm not sure if Flight Earth can get back here. I think that might have just been a waste of transcends, and it was as they cap, and we're gonna see some class switch-ups here, perhaps. Nope. Looks like um, Kree and uh, Winghaven deciding, you know what, we're gonna stay on what we have. Yeah, I'd see um, a Junkrat, actually, on this second point. You don't often see him on the rooftops. But really good area yeah, denial. Yeah, seems to switch off the games. Junkrat, but Link's staying on for now. Maybe just because he was on ju Junkrat uh, right before. It'll be honest to see if he switches off after uh, first stuff here. Of course, we're assuming he's going to die. Maybe he will live for the rest of the game. You never know. That's very possible. He's actually just jumping in the air again. But, I mean, it's nice to drop bombs like that to just over the card. It just screws up your momentum and where you want to be. You're, it just really messes with the team's positioning. Take a look here, Artyr moving forward. Artyr able to get a kill on Morte. Two kills for him on this counter push so far. Bromas takes up Voltage and reunited after a decent beginning. Gonna have to back up and regroup. Yeah, Lynx has a tire up. They've been boosting him too, so he's doing a ton of just in Oh, he's going for cover. I think he's gonna go for a tire any second. Here comes the tire. Fire in the hole. Tire bobbing, weaving. I think it already took some damage. I don't think this tire's yeah. gonna do much. No, the tire's taken out. Got Ghostbuster down. Allwise defensively, Reinforce uh, also has his Earth Shatter up here, so we'll see if he's going to drop that any moment. Winghaven shield almost down. The biggest threat to a defensive Earth Shatter is an offensive Reinhardt shield, so if they can crack that shield, that can really open some opportunities for Reinforce. That being said, Groudton surges out, Reinforce holds up the shield, and he is going to get taken out, does not get a chance to drop the Earth Shatter, and reunited with uh, two quick kills here, and this is an opportunity for them. Oh, what a beautiful res coming up from... From the defense, Dracaeus got in there, res are enough, but everyone's gonna go down immediately. Uh, Reunited not having any of that res, just mopping up everyone, so it was a good resurrect. 
but unfortunately everyone was so clustered that Reunited was able to just come in and to kill everyone regardless. Yeah, it was kind of weird how they chose to defend against that. They ran Bromos in early on after the barrier had taken, or the Graviton Surge had taken out a couple. Uh, just kind of just weird. Uh, I don't know why they were closing distance with heroes that need distance to operate well. You have a uh, attack visor coming out for Bromas. Bromas looking to get some kills here. Takes out Volataja. Moving forward, gets another kill. Takes out Cruz. That's two kills for the defense. Winghaven now moving forward. Able to take out Lynx. Too easy. Takes out Dracaeus. Uh, back and forth on both sides, but Reunite definitely with the momentum. And they're still pushing up the card to boot. Yeah, I mean, we have other. defensive sound barrier of Lynx, which is off actually to a defensive Genji, which is a new wrinkle into this composition here. Reinforce went down, but he has Earth Shutter up, and they're going to need a big one here to halt this momentum. And to begin Earth Shatters, Winghaven also with an Earth Shatter, so I uh, could see both hammers coming down at a moment. Oftentimes, the Reinhardt that knocks the other Reinhardt down first wins, but it is sort of a game of chicken because you don't want your Earth Shatter to be taken or nullified by the other Reinhardt shield. So we do see the defensive flight earth being very, very aggressive here, trying to push things back. They use a sound barrier on moving in. RT able to take out Morte, but that's the only kill so far. Reunited might be weathering the storm. Too easy takes out Dracaeus. And now, Reunited moving back in, uh, getting kills of their own off that ground on surge by Too Easy. Uh, Winghaven now going to the back, looking for the perhaps flanking Earth Shatter here. Going to land the Fire Strike on the Bromass, takes him out. And good patience and position by Reunited, looking like it might pay off. Yeah, Bonnethil just throwing himself at the cart, trying to slow it down as much as possible. Lynx follows suit and does the same, but there's no resurrection of Dracaeus actually going in the back. Oh, Dracaeus going behind. in for the res anyways. I'm not sure. He gets uh, 200 people up. Earthshire comes down, knocks down the other Reinhardt. He's going to get charged to his death. Good stuff coming up from that. Barrage is up for Unfix. Unfix could be the nail in the coffin here. If he comes in over the top of Barrage, Barrage is going to come out, is going to hit a D.Va. Not much else. And D.Va actually runs into the fair to make her kill herself. Oh, that's beautiful. Not yeah. enough to really defend this, but beautiful nonetheless. So just kind of trickling in now. They're they're coming up on different heroes to try to get to the card. Divas and Tracers abound. Yeah, this is the final part here where we really see absolute pandemonium on the payload. Divas coming in on both sides. And this is a more or less a stall tactic. It's very rare to actually get enough kills to push us back. But it buys valuable time. Look at all the divas coming out. All the divas coming in and staggering onto the point. Look at this! God. This is really giving me some beta one flashbacks. Yeah, I was gonna say we haven't seen this in quite a while. This used to be like the, the go-to tactic between humans. Look at this, the divas are streaming in! They're buying time! Vonathil one of the last divas to come in, he's gonna go down here in a second. But look, Bromas <laughs> is, is in to carry the torch! And uh, it, ironically, it's an offensive diva ult that clears out the divas <laughs> and get I, I, I don't even know. That resurrection before the final diva spam was a little off, though. I mean, resurrections are so hard to judge because, it, you, one, you're in a desperate situation. You need to bring your players alive, but they might have been better off waiting for them to actually just respawn. She resurrected them into a 3d6, which is not great. Here's another questionable res. Again, it's hard because you want to keep your players alive, but, I mean, just the positioning there, they're all going to get killed anyway. Sometimes you have to know when to just let people stay dead. Yep, so, yeah, I mean, the Resurrect not necessarily getting the most value, but uh, time of 640 being set by Reunited, I think Reunited has to be pretty happy with that. As long as Reunited can hold at least, you know, two or three good defensive pushes, plus just general stalling, I think they should be able to take this map. But let's not underestimate Flat Earth. Flat Earth has had some very, very fast runs in Hollywood in the past, so Reunited still going to have to come out uh, with their best shots. Of course, Too Easy jumps into the chat, says, nice D.Va. Too Easy is a talkative fellow. And the D.Va strategy worked in terms of buying totally time. Worked. I think it bought them at least a good 45 seconds. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's probably a sub six minute time. They don't bust out the D.Va's. It's it's a strategy we've seen employed before. And it, to so much so that it got D.Va got nerfed in a way that didn't really affect her gameplay at all. But the mech shoot disappears quicker now. So okay. the strategy kind of went a little bit out of style, not as effective as it used to be. But, um, yeah, because yeah. I think what used to happen is that the mech would stay on and would actually count as contesting the point, yeah. whereas now the mech yeah. just immediately blows up. Thank God for that, too. I think the most annoying thing that D.Va used to be able to do uh, back in Beta 1 and all the rest is that she would die, and then she would use her own mech for cover coming out of Zero Suit D.Va because her mech would absorb shots. It was really frustrating. Yep. Um, I mean, we, didn't, we don't have a hero limit in this arena, right? We've had hero no. limits in different tournaments, right? Too yeah, easy so. delusional. You didn't even mention this when you were asked who you were afraid of. Link's bringing our interviews back out at too easy. 
Uh oh. I, I, hey, I give uh, Too Easy every opportunity to give shout outs to teams that he might think are up and coming, and he went right to Envious. So. Yeah, Envious and uh, Too Easy have a long history going back to Firefall, though, so I think uh, Too Easy just considers uh, Envious. Uh, and don't get me wrong, Envious is a great team and definitely a contender that Reunite should be afraid of, but. Still, uh, that's sort of a respect to people that he talks to a lot, would be my guess, more so than anything else. Yeah, but, I mean, we, we all default back to the old games we loved first, and those biases we have to carry with us just happens. Taking a look at the defense coming out from Reunited, we're going to have Winghaven on the Reinhardt, Voltaja on McCree, too easy on Symmetra, Cruz on the Lucio, unfixed on Junkrat, and Morte going to be the final support on Zenyatta. Okay, it's pretty standard defense coming out there. The defensive Junkrat actually, you know, being mimicked now since that great success. On the offense, though, Drakaeus will be running uh, Mercy. Reinforce will be on Reinhardt. Lynx will be running an offensive Reaper. Vonathil on Lucio. Artier on McCree. And Bromas on Zarya. It's so great to see Zarya just firmly back in the meta. Yeah, Zarya coming back in the meta, I mean... It's cool. I mean, I, it's one of the things where I think part of it was damage change and part is just what people have been running. Zarya matches up against a little bit better. Uh, people are finding better use of shields and her ultimate. And uh, Flat Earth not wasting any time moving forward here, getting through the archway. Voltage, first kill of the game, is able to take out Reinforce. Yeah, not Voltage the is going to be a rock here. that Flat Earth has to get through. Yeah, and Flat Earth really right now, they are over here, but they're under a lot of pressure. I'm not sure they can convert this into a good offensive run here. It's possible, but more time Winghaven got to pick up two more kills, and I think Flat Earth might just get pushed out. Yeah, really kind of, uh, you know, sloppy at the entrance there. However, oh, right coming up, rest. though, there might be life yet if they don't get immediately killed off this res. Flat Earth still trying to keep pressure, but again, there are a little bit... Uh, pushed back here, not really able to position the way they want to position. They did and ultimate-wise, we're going to have some big ultimates coming up from Reunited soon if Flat Earth can't get the kills they need. Oof, that's going to spell the end of this. Four ultimates coming through, up right? now for Reunited. And that, I think that's sort of a hidden downside of the res. If you res and you don't get much value off it, you just build 30% more ult for everyone else on the other team. Yeah. I mean, they, they chose to fight there too without Lynx, who had died early on and actually switched heroes. He's now on an offensive Genji rather than Reaper. But what really stalled that out was when Reinforced tried to get that charge and he died before it connected with anyone. Losing your tank and having one of your DPS gone, they should not have been trying to fight there at all. Now they have full force though. Yeah, they do have a dead eye coming out here from Voltaja. Voltaja looking to get something off this. Might end up holding, but no, ends up shooting it anyways. They just want to bust Reinforce's shield and Reinforce now in a bit of trouble. Again, he did Discord Orb and has to run for his life. Link's coming back into the fight. Graviton Surge coming up from Bromass. Uh, two kills so far for Reunite. Three kills. Defensive Sound Barrier going to come up, going to ruin the effect of that Graviton and others. And that is a full team wipe again in favor of Reunited. Yeah, Unfix was doing so much work, just unmolested up here on his Joker Junkrat. Uh, he got he got the mercy in the back line before that fight even started. Perhaps the tire I didn't exactly see, maybe a nade, and then it was just doing so much zoning with his mines from from the top. Yeah, Taking a look here, uh, Unfix still trying to keep pressure in as Junkrat, throwing a lot into uh, that hallway, and I think Zarya is pretty good against the Junkrat. I mean, I think Zarya just got absolutely full charge off the Junkrat spam, so they're going to have to be careful against that. Offensive sound barrier is coming out. We do have a tire coming out. You gotta have to keep watching that for a second. Both teams, 5v5, tire coming in, going to be doing damage in a moment. Takes out Vonathil with that tire, and uh, Reunited positioning pretty well here. Both teams suffering their losses, but I think Reunited should hold. But look at this, Artier coming in. Artier uh, takes out uh, two people there, and this might be exactly where Flight Earth needs to get this. Time. That was really good from Artier to come in and take out Volataja. That's that's not over yet. Cruz still on the point, is able to take out the Reinhardt. Uh, both teams Heroes getting some decent died. shots in here. A big res coming in from Dracaeus in the end. And that uh, might be all Flat Earth needs to take this point and get the payload moving. And they need to get this point because they only have three and a half minutes left to go from here all the way to the end. Yeah, they just didn't even notice the teleporter in the back line. It took them forever to go find it eventually. Bromas spotted it out, able to clear it off quickly. But they got three people in there able to stagger some deaths on there and delay that point cap. Yep, That's Artier not the first now time we've seen push teams up a bit. just miss a teleporter. Just completely miss it. Yep. Uh, our team right now looking to move a little bit further up. Link's able to take out too easy a sniper battle. Voltage though takes out our tier, so a little bit back and forth on the Widows and McCrees here in this game. 5v5 as Flat Earth moves up. We'll see if Reunited can uh, do something to stall out this push a little bit more, because they don't have to stall it out for much longer. I think if they get maybe two more team wipes, that might be all they need. 
Uh, Wingham, yeah. though, is able to take out Reinforce, taking a look at Lynx. Lynx was taken out at some point in that last fight. Too Easy now going up as Widow. We're going to see Lynx versus Too Easy here in a moment. Unfixed, able to take out Art here. Too Easy Thank takes you. out Bromass, and this is going to be almost a full wipe in favor of Reunited. I'm pretty sure Unfixed uh, reflected the high noon back at Art here. <laughs> that, that, that can't feel good. Wasn't exactly high noon. No. Lunch was canceled. So, Too Easy versus... And Link's actually getting off the Widowmaker on the McCree, so Too Easy going to have a little bit less pressure on him here. He will have the Winston going after him, but he won't have to worry about the counter timing. Voltage able to take out Artyr. It takes out Link's as well. Voltage and the McCree Slayer takes out both McCrees. And Too Easy takes out Reinforce. The Ragdoll there, absolutely hilarious. Uh, and just a full team wipe again if they're reunited. Reunited just swarming on top of Flat Earth and Flat Earth. Uh, just not getting the engagement they wanted. They don't really have anything to take these rooftops right now. Now, Reinforce was on the Winston. He tried to jump up there and take it, but they're running a very low mobility kind of ground force here and hope they're going to try to brute force it. This is a conversation they've had success with on King of the Hill. I'm not sure. They're not certain it suits this phase, but they're going to try to make it work. They have the offensive soundbar coming up, but beautiful leap by Reinforce gets on here on the both Zenyatta and the Widow. Uh, Zenyatta's going to take him out, but not before he takes Widow. Uh, decent trade from the Winston. But the bigger issue here now for Flat Earth is that they only have a minute 20 left. They need to win this fight decisively and run forward. Even a staggered fight that they slowly win is not going to be enough here. Well, I mean, now they don't, they're don't. they not even running a Mercy. There's no resurrection available. They're trying to get the double Lucios, and Reinforce has been trying to do some work, but it's just not enough at this point. It was a little late to switch to this composition, in my opinion. Yeah, Unfix able to get three kills in that engagement. Didn't even have to use the Dragon Blade. Now only a minute remaining. I feel pretty confident calling this for United. I think technically, mathematically, it's possible for Flat Earth to win, but given by the time they get three people in the cart, and given that bodies can just be thrown, I'm pretty confident saying that this is going to be Reunited's game. And in fact, Flat Earth's just calling GG way ahead of schedule here. Well, too easy pops his ult, which means that he is going to be picking people off anyway. A very good sniper, then you give him wall hacks. It doesn't seem really fair, but that is her ultimate ability. And uh, yeah, really decent defense coming up from Reunited. Yep. I feel like Reunited is very strong in the second stage, mostly based off of too easy sniping. We've seen him on this map time and again win sniper battles, win those 1v1s. And I think you even saw Lynx kind of concede the sniper battle about why he just switched off of Widowmaker, did not want to get involved in the sniper battle with too easy. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to lobby here. Uh, people are saying push back to lobby. I don't think people want to wait for the cart to go all the way forward. Who knows? But all right, back to lobby it is. It has been spoken.